Kindred Spirits basically is sort of the, the common thread that brings people together. Being able to tour in like Europe and Australia, what I realized was that it was cool to see all these strangers sort of coming together because of music, and specifically because of the music that I was writing. The idea initially was to have like an interesting podium and then the LED wall behind me. One of the designs they made was this crazy, crazy thing. It looks like Saturn basically. There's like a ring coming out of the orb. And I was like, that one. We have to do that one. It's the craziest one and it looks super cool and I, I've never seen anything like it before. they sort of get lost into the music and my music isn't really like turn up EDM type stuff so I, I want to challenge them a little bit too and, and make sure that they can sort of appreciate music that, that's a little more emotional and honest sounding. It's really crazy because every day we're in a completely new environment and sometimes that feels really surreal especially when you're in a place like this. I feel like I'm in a movie right now. You know, when I was a kid, I've always wanted to travel, and I, I never really got the chance to, so I feel really thankful that music has, you know, allowed me to come to places like this. You know, we've been working really hard. This entire crew is super dope, from Ben, who's, who's the tour manager, to Ronnie and Richie, who've been part of the crew and doing all the lights and visuals and, and all that. Do the bar and then do the visual. That is dope. This is the first time that we have almost total control over the tour, you know. When, when you're starting out, you might have these like bigger ideas, and but it might be difficult to execute. Or it could just be like you don't have the proper like network or team members to make your idea or whatever come true. And the cool thing about where we are now is that we have that team. And it's the combined effort of this team that made this happen. We're about to play some mini golf right now. It's a glow in the dark mini golf place. Did like three sold out shows back to back. I don't get how every show just gets better and better. There's some people in this world who need to get something out and express themselves. They need to push something out of themselves. And the first thing they do is they do it on their own. And people pick up on that. And people see that what they're putting out is beautiful and interesting and lovely and it's going to make the world better. And what happens is other people start to say, hey, I want to help you with this. I need so much to be to you so much. Last two weeks have been super wild. Uh, we did six shows in five days, and three of those shows were in 24 hours. It went by so fast. It's really crazy that we're here right now. This is incredible. We're in LA right now. We got a sold out show at the Novo. Um, really special night because it's the biggest show I've ever played.
got the whole team right here, Ben, Kenny, Jay, Mike, the whole Jai Wolf team. Uh, 10 minutes, 10 minutes till show time. You hear that? They're changing Jai Wolf right now, yo, that's, that's crazy. And this is a record, we're doing three shows in 24 hours, so I've never done that before. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> I thought this was impossible. It's incredible to see that they do this pretty much every single night on the tour. Just seeing it built for the last time this year, kind of making me feel feel a certain way, you know, a little, a little emotional for sure. I worked really hard on this project all year long. I was really excited for that feeling of having kids coming to the shows and, and them knowing the new songs. In my opinion, he is a huge part of the future of electronic music. I mean, he's creating a movement that's unlike any other. Once I find other people who do like Die Wolf, it's just like that instant connection. It's like that lifetime connection. It's almost like a heartbeat where your heart kind of beats similarly to someone else's. And it's, it's something very intimate that happens yeah. with music. Yeah. There's so many positive comments about the EP, people really connecting to it and saying nice things about it. I'm happy that my music is able to sort of reach out and, and, and uh, connect to people who, who can understand what I'm trying to say through music. I, I couldn't be happier. This entire tour has been absolutely amazing, above and beyond of what, what I expected it to be, you know, and this tour has just flown by, and I can't believe we're at the end right now. It's been an amazing five weeks, and at least for me, it's going to be really sad to see everyone go home, but it was an amazing tour, and I can't wait to do it again. We're excited to move on to the next step, but at the same time, I think this, like, closes the chapter of something that we've been working on for so long. It's like, when he was very little, one day I told his dad that I think um, he will do uh, something big in his life. Thank you so much, DC. We're all kindred spirits. Have an amazing night.